do have money to pay for a lawyer. So this is, this is just one thing I can't understand. You know, this government gets up at the beginning of the election and he says, we are anti-corruption. You know, okay, that's great. People have voted for that. I'd vote for that too, you know. But now there are so many, there, you know, he, he, there are so many people that have been left disappointed. And, and back to my point of the Human Rights and Equal Opportunity Commission, I mean, it's just a bloody office, you know. It's just an office. How hard can it be to establish this? It's just an office and it's only money and they've got both of those things. So there's plenty of buildings where they can do this in Valletta, plenty of empty ones that belong to the government that are untouched and they are perfectly livable. They just probably need a paint job and some plumbing. I mean, how hard can that be to put money behind that to establish something for the people? So, you know, this is, this is something that I really don't like about this government. And I really did like the leader and I supported him because I like honest and honourable men and this is the way he came across, you know. Um, and I respect the fact that he's not the type to cheat on his wife and let his children down over personal gain. I respect that. Uh, he's, I, I certainly don't think he is that kind of a person, but that's on a personal scale. As a leader, he's failed me and I think he's failed a lot of people um, because Instead of listening to the voters that voted for him, he's listening to the ministers that are letting us down. And this is, this is the biggest, biggest problem in politics with this government. And now the people are sort of starting to wonder, you know, did we do the right thing? <laughs> so now I'm going to, I, I've been very public about this. My vote's going to the opposition. There's no question. Because if you look at my posts, it stands to reason. And like I said, and I've said this before, Roberta Metzola is about the only one so far who has, you know, shown that she's given a damn. And she did try, but it, it's, a, it's a difficult situation. There's a lot of politics involved. So, and then there's my husband, and I've got no idea where he is, by the way. <laughs> He's disappeared off the face of the earth. I think he went to America. I know that much, um, but I don't know if he returned. I've got no idea, you know, what's going on. And at this point in time, it's really none of my business, although we're still legally married by law. We're not even, we're not even legally apart, you know, we're just not living together. So that's the situation. Nothing's changed. And moving on, we are, Moving on to the next story of the morning. I want to point something out. I've just passed this house. It's number 69. And this is something people do do right in this country on a positive note. They have these beautiful, beautiful religious statues, you know, at the front of their, at the, I was gonna say at the front of their countries. Sorry guys, I'm really cold. At the front of their uh, houses and this is something people do right. You've got to have a look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to point the camera to it. You know, that's just beautiful. And there's a lot of statues of Mary as well. Um, it's just a beautiful, such a beautiful, graceful religion if you practice it the right way. Um, anyway, so that's it. Oh, now I, I promise to sing this song. I promise to let you guys in on this little get along song that I sing for myself every morning and anyone else who wants to listen. <laughs> um, I'm laughing because of the look on people's faces. You know, when I do this five o'clock in the morning and they've just gotten out of bed and they're cranky because they have to go to a job that they don't like to pay the bills. And here I am, homeless with no assets and I'm skipping along to the bread factory who constantly reject me, well, they, they never used to, but they are now. And, um, you know, let's just hope this morning it's going to be successful. And I suppose to get me going, back to the Get Along song, song that I was talking about, I suppose to get me going, I start singing this song, you know. And um, it's a really good boost to the morning, but you've got to see people's faces when I do this in the morning. It's really, really entertaining. It's better than television, you know. And they look at you and one man stopped me and he said to me, I should have had the recorder on, but I didn't. 
and he said to me, what are you on? And I said, I'm, on, I'm not on anything, you know, I'm anti all that shit. And he said, no, what are you on? What do you eat for breakfast? What do you do in the morning? He said, I want some. I want to wake up like you every morning. That's what he said. And then he said, where do you live? And I said, I can't tell you that because then I'd have to shoot you. And then he said to me, oh my goodness. He said, are you homeless? I said, well, I don't have any assets. I said, put it this way. I was trying to sort of evade the answer because I don't want people feeling sorry for me and I often don't answer this for this reason. And he's like, let me just get off the highway. Hang on, guys. That's better. And he, and he said to me, oh my goodness, are you homeless? And you wake up like that every morning. He's like, I, ju I just want what you, what you, you know, whatever it is that you're taking, I want some. He goes, and I'll pay really good money for it. I said, I'm not on anything. I said, look, mate, it's called the rosary. You wake up, you pray the rosary, you find a get along song that gives you that little bit of a kick up the ass on the way to work and you sing it and you praise God every day for your health. I said, it's really that simple. And he said to me, you know, he said, you're a one-off. We don't have people like you in this country. He goes, I want your phone number. I want your website. I want your Facebook. I said, I'll give you my website. And, um, you know, <laughs> and you've got the email there. And that's about as much as I can do for the time being. And then I noticed a wedding ring on his finger. And I said, make sure you pass it on to your wife as well. Because if you don't, I will. <laughs> and he's like, oh, my God. And you're honest as well, you know. <laughs> well, you know, he's like, oh, he was just like, he was Maltese, which was quite surprising. I normally get this reaction from, from foreigners, not from Maltese. But look, there are good people here as well. There are. They're not all assholes. But the thing is, it's few and far between, and you really have to dig deep to find them, you know? So, the sun is just about up. Oh my goodness, I love this time of the morning. I love it. I celebrate. It's like, praise the Lord for my health and another day. It's great. There's birds flying up in the air they're just as happy as i am and they don't have any money either <laughs> oh you gotta look at this sunrise jesus gives me a boost you have to look at this you know i don't enjoy sleeping outside despite of what people may think but what i do enjoy is waking up in the morning to this i mean malta is really a beautiful country just a shame, just a shame about the people who like to spoil that, you know. But just a really, the country is really beautiful. I don't know if you saw much, the sun's coming up. And here's my get along song. Very, very noisy, I'm on the highway. Because walking on the highway, it um, stops, it allows me to walk continuously. Whereas when I take the streets, the, you know, the footpaths are very tiny. You often have to get off to let someone else through. And some people, the size of them, they take two footpaths. So, <laughs> anyway, that was a bit of a joke. <laughs> um, but you know, I like to walk on the highway, at the right to the side of the highway, because that way it's, it's continuous walking and it's good for the soul, you know, good for the mind, good for the body. It's exercise, it's relaxing, um, it's good. And I like a little bit of noise. I've got a very active mind, so very creative one, and I quite like a little bit of traffic. You know what I'm going to do, guys, before I sing this Get Along song? I've changed my mind here. I'm going to cross the road, um, and I am going to take the back street, because if I do it here like I normally do it in the morning, you won't hear me. There's just too much traffic, and I think I've chatted enough. So give me a minute to cross this road. You can see it's very, very busy. God bless Malta, it's such a beautiful country. I really love this country. I love it. It's got so much just religion and history. You know, it's a great place. And the geographical location is, is really sought after. Um, like I said, it's really a shame. Shame about the people who spoil it, you know. But um, anyway. We need to focus on the good. That's what we need to do because that's what's good for us. You know, everyone else can shove it. <laughs> so let's keep moving forward. I'm just 
walking quick here, trying to cross the road. Shit, there's cars coming. Oh, oh. Give me a minute, guys. Okay, we made it. As we always do with the Lord by our side, we make it. <laughs> it's not only we make it, but we win. <laughs> okay, so I've come to the other side. I don't know where I am. I never know what this part of Malta is. I think it's, anyway, it's close to the to Mata Day, but I'm going the opposite way. Here's this, here's another beautiful statue of Mary here. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. This is something that these people do right, actually. You know, can you see that, guys? Where is, where is it? It's beautiful. That's just beautiful. Really, really beautiful. You know. Okay. So, again, I've done it again. I've done it again. I'm going the opposite direction to where I want to go. I'm trying to go to the bread factory. I've got these bags that are just annoying me because they're getting really uncomfortable. And my aim was to sing you this get along song. So here it goes. It's called Little Peter Rabbit. Finally, you're going to get this song I've promised. <laughs> Ready? Set. Go. Little Peter Rabbit has a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit has a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit has a fly upon his nose. And that's the way it goes. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. And that's the way it goes. Heidi -o. Little Peter Rabbit says, bring it on, asshole. Little Peter Rabbit says, bring it on, asshole. Little Peter Rabbit says, bring it on, asshole. And that's the way it goes. Heidi -o. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. And that's the way it goes. Heidi -o. Little Peter Rabbit really likes his pantyhose. Little Peter Rabbit. <laughs> Little Peter Rabbit really likes his pantyhose. <laughs> Little Peter Rabbit really likes his pantyhose. And that's the way it goes. Heidi -o. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. And that's the way it goes. Heidi -o. Little Peter Rabbit has a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit has a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit has a fly upon his nose. And that's the way it goes. Heidi -o. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah. And that's the way it goes. Heidi -o. Little Peter Rabbit says, Oh my God, it's cold. Little Peter Rabbit says, Oh my God, it's cold. Little Peter Rabbit says, Oh my God, it's cold. And that's the way it goes. Heidi -o. <laughs> I did a little dance. I do this in the rain. <laughs> so there's my little song. Kind of, I make it up as I go along, you know. However I'm feeling at the time, it's a good way of expressing emotion and making people laugh first thing in the morning. I love to do that. And because, you know, life is a gift, guys. I don't give a shit what you're experiencing. You've got to find a way to find that joy within because life is a gift and it has to be lived. It has to be lived, you know. So find a way to live it and live it well. And this is not necessarily a money thing. I've got nothing against people with money. You know, one day I'm going to have lots of it too. And I'm going to also give a lot of it. Um, you know, if, if you've worked on honest terms, your ass off your whole life to have what you've got, good on you. That's, that's your right, you know. 
i don't have a problem with rich people.